let's actually try to explain it right now so the reason why i use my main weapon in the left hand first of all it's not going to be every weapon but it's going to be every weapon that you use two-handed so whether you use it two-handed in the left or right i mean it's going to be the same inputs for everything except the moment where you equip the thing but with that being said the advantage of having your shield in your right hand is that no matter which weapon you're using, your shield it always stays the same. So if I'm using the greatsword here, I'm using the shield with it. And if I'm using, uh, let's say, this weapon, the HTS, the shield still comes with it. If I am using this weapon, the shield still comes with it. Because the shield is going to be my best uh, like side weapon, if you may, option. Because it has like passive status, resi uh, yeah, passive status resistance. Other options would be to have this shield or the regen shield. So basically, no matter which two-handed two weapon I am using, I'm going to have this shield equipped. So instead of building an inventory around every single weapon that I can possibly equip, because if I was to use my main hand weapon as my primary weapon, I would not have access to, the, to these swaps. Let me explain after this loading screen. So, when we use, let's say, um, let's say that our main weapon is this axe here. Or let's actually grab the lance. If, let's say, you are using the lance as your primary weapon, and you have the shield here as your secondary weapon, you see here my lance has an inventory built around it so that I can swap to different things. But when... Um, when I have this, this shield here is not set up to have like uh, Ashes of War. But let's just pretend that this uh, this shield would be set up for Ashes of Wars. So I would be able to swap to um, do something and like do a flame strike, for instance. Actually, let's use that shield as an example with um, the other one so I can convey the point better. Okay, so like this, for instance. With this shield here, if I'm using the lens... I can swap, right? And I can do my swaps just normally. And I have my weapon in the, the main hand. But the problem with that is that I have to build my inventory around that lance if I want to be able to do that. The moment I switch to another weapon, let's just pick like some of the weapons I got here. If I'm switching to side, for instance, I just lost access to my swap here. Because I would need to do it in the off end, and you don't have the same access with the off end than you have in the main hand. So like, here, if I want to swap to BHS here, what do I do? I'm stuck. I would need to put it somewhere around here, and then that limits my option. Or if I want to swap to like Fist for a finisher, like, you know, okay, maybe I'll have to swap to this one instead. But what if I'm using uh, this one? Like, what if I'm using this one and I want to swap to a Flame Strike? Okay, well, I need... Like, you see the problem? Like, the inventory, it cannot be built around every single weapon that you would want to use. Because you would need to... Like, it basically takes one page to build around two weapons. So, to remedy that, you just inverse them. Because no matter which weapon you're two-handing, you're, all, you're always going to carry the same shield in the offense. So if I have the whip here, I still have access to my BHS swap. I still have access to my flame strike swap with the same input every single time. I still have access to my halberd running attack. And I still have access to my perseverance. So you see the advantage here? Because I have the weapon in my off end, I can swap and every Ash of War that I swap to will come out. It will be very consistent and it won't matter which weapon I'm using two-handed because the swaps are always going to be the same. So it's very convenient for that. And not only that, when you buff your weapon, I mean, uh, I don't know if I have anything crag blade on me right now. Might have one around here. Yeah, there you go. Let's just pretend that we were using Fist with Crag Blade. Now I can swap. I still keep my Crag Blade even when I swap to something else. So not only does that get me access to the swaps, that leaves me with my buff still active on top of that. 
So there's many advantages to having your main weapon in the offhand. Now, there are some disadvantages. The more obvious one is the weight. You have to build your character around the proper weight to be able to have your, your, your two-handed weapon be able to be light enough to be able to swap to what you want. So basically, you have to consider what kind of setup you're going to be rocking here. For me, though, it doesn't really matter because my builds before I even came up with that were centered around a simple concept of uh, of having a mix-up between Great Bow and Great Lance. This is how I won the, the last tourney we did, right? It was switching between Great Bow and Great Lance. And this is a really nice combo because at close range, you have Great Lance. And at long range, you have the bow. So because my build is built around that, like the bow weighs 14.5 unit and the Great Lance weight weighs 9 units. So both of them are extremely heavy. So that's not a problem for me to have my main weapon in the off end when I would be able to carry a great bow as my main hand weapon on top of that. So it's not an issue if you're built, if you're built around this, uh, this weight ratio. But if you are not, it could be a problem. With that being said, though, if you are, for instance, playing mainly with Fist. So let's say you are playing mainly with Fist here. What's great is that the Fist weigh uh, about the same as the shield here. And if you would be using this shield, well, this shield's weigh way more than the Fist. So if you're playing optimally with a regen shield, swapping your regen shield for something else is actually very, very optimal weight-wise. So it's not just a disadvantage for the weight ratio when you're using this Southpaw method. So if you were using this Icon shield optimally, you would you'd still be able to carry like pretty much anything that you would set up your build to carry. And when you swap to something else, like you see the shield is the same weight as this Halberd. So like, instead of being heavier, if I had to swap this uh, this um, curved sword here for the Albert instead, I would be way heavier because I'm switching from a uh, curved sword that's like 4 units or 3.5 unit to a Halberd that's 11.5 as opposed to swapping from 11.5 to another 11.5. So there are some advantages there. Now another disadvantage of this particular setup is that uh, you cannot use uh, like um, setups that are hybrid and what I mean by that is like when you have let's say a dagger and a halberd if you want to use like a dagger and a halberd you would need to build your build around that so you'd need to have like a weapon that that's a halberd that's specifically set up so this is also an issue for power stance stuff. Like if I want to use power stance straight sword here, because I have it set up in advance, I'm able to do it and have access to my swap. But now if I want to use power stance spears, for instance, now my inventory is not made for that. There's a compromise that's to be made there. So I like put some spears like that's like around the dagger. So if I need the BHS swap to escape, I can still do it. They're not like buried, buried deep in the inventory, for instance. But that is something that you have to keep in mind. Like power stencing stuff, you would need to build your inventory around it. Which is the reason why we still have, uh, you know, great lenses like here completely set up. It's because I will be able to play the exact same way with these great lenses and these swaps as I am playing with any weapon that I two-hand when I have the shield on my back. So that's pretty much it. I think that covers the advantages and disadvantages of having or playing Southpaw, having your main weapon in your offhand. So yes, this is something I came up with to remedy the solution of like being able to use many more weapons and the problem of like it, it being impossible to set up your inventory for every weapon that you're using. So that was the, the reason why I came up with that. All right, let's keep invading. Also, not to forget, like, you can't forget to mention that because my swaps always stay the same, the muscle memory that you develop when you're swapping to these is always the same. Like, no matter what you're using, the inputs are always the same. Like, my halberd is always one tick to the right, like, no matter what I'm using. 
Like, it, I can have the claws, I can have the Cathars. The input is always the same. So that makes it very, very reliable. And you will develop muscle memory around it. And so no matter which inventory I'm building, I know for a fact that my flame strike is always in the same spot. My flame strike is always one click left. And then I have access to a, to a quick swap to flame strike for a roll catch, for instance. Because this is a question I've been asked a lot. And even though I've made a bit about it in the past, I don't think I've explained it enough or as, as much. This guy has good connection. I wanted the other guy. This guy had like the best connection we've seen today. <laughs> 